On the other end of the spectrum, here in North Texas, the skies are clear, a couple passing clouds. It's nice for us. We could see a supercell thunderstorm on Friday afternoon, but I can forecast this one, Joe, with 100% certainty. If we have any supercells here in North Texas on uh, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, they will not drop 22 and a half inches of rain. That, uh, I, I read somewhere that the National Weather Service down there says this is, this is not a, a one in a 500 year flood. It's not even a one in 1,000 year flood. There's some thoughts now that this could be a one in a 5,000 year flood. I have no idea how they even add that kind of stuff up. But anyway, that's the latest out of South Florida. For us, we could see a, a, an isolated thunderstorm Friday afternoon, Friday evening. Most of the models do this. Here's Friday at 3 p.m. There's 4 p.m. You see that? Here's 5 p.m. You see what's not happening? No supercells at 5 p.m. 6 p.m., same thing, 7 p.m., same thing, and then everything's just gone. And after that, we have sunshine. We start with sunshine on Saturday. We have a sunny Saturday and a sunny Sunday. And why? Because a cap's in place. That cap right now looks like it will hold and it'll shut down any potential severe thunderstorm development. But if it breaks loose, we could have a stray thunderstorm that could produce some hail, some wind, and even an isolated tornado. That's Friday afternoon and Friday evening. None of that tonight. 56 the low. Tomorrow, sunshine and 80. A beautiful, another beautiful day tomorrow. Then a pretty decent one on uh, Friday. It is, by the way, Children's Health Family Night at Six Flags. Hopefully it'll stay dry at Six Flags for, for everyone that's going. 78 on Saturday, 75 on Sunday, 81 on Monday, and a little chance of rain next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Crazy wet in South Florida and unusually dry for us here in North Texas.